Well, here's that transducer that failed because it was in the gasoline. Um, I broke it apart here. You can see it's mostly filled with epoxy. There's the board. And in the back, all they had was a, um, this was down like that, and this little tin cover was flush. But gas could get in this area right here, too. And uh, the, I'm talking to a company now in Beijing, China. Um, they make all kinds of transducers. They think they can do something for me. So we'll see how that pans out. But um, just showing they don't hold up in gas. Don't waste your money on them right now. Um, you can see that's where the ceramic disc goes in that area right there. And then you can even see if there's a capacitor right there in the epoxy. Um, looks like it's made out of brass. I don't know what's coated with. It's chrome plated. And then this wire was really flexible. Now it's hard as a rock. So this wire isn't holding up in the gas. I could protect the wire if I had one that actually worked in gas. I'm not worried about the wire. Um, but what happened is a uh, ceramic disc, you see all the pieces there, and there's one with little cracks. I guess they started to crack, break up, gasoline made its way into the epoxy board, and voila, that was it. So uh, at least it didn't explode, it just started getting real hot. <laughs> so uh, that's about it. I just wanted to show you, don't waste your time on these. I had a couple other people tell me that uh, there was a fail too, so... Don't waste your time or money right now. Um, the place from China will get back to me and we'll see what we can do. And if uh, they come up with something, you'll be the first to know. Um, the only thing you have to check too is I don't know if there's voltage between the spring and the case. I'll, I'll use this little one to see if there is, because that still works. And if there isn't, maybe I can make aluminum, stainless, or maybe on my own kind of Teflon disc or plastic disc if I get another one, or I could try it on this one. And if it works, uh, I guess I could stop it from uh, breaking up because the no ring goes in like this. And then you put your disc, and then that's why you have to check to see if uh, there's any continuity between the spring and the case. Because once you put this lock washer in on a, like a stainless disc in there, it would make a complete ground. And it wouldn't work, but I'll find out maybe this weekend. I'll try that little one over there. So that's about it. So have a great day, and I'm going to work. Bye.